the XKR has a 10-way seat adjustment which uses the buttons on the inside of each door. And this video will clear up any confusion as to how those buttons adjust the seats and what adjustments are stored in the three memory positions. And the real takeaway of this video is to help you remember what those buttons do. And if you look carefully, you'll see that they're laid out visually to represent the different parts of the seat with those three memory positions at the top. The largest angled button looks like the seat back. And of course, it moves the back of the seat. Let's call it button number one. The largest horizontal button looks like the seat bottom. So it moves the bottom of the seat. We'll call it button two. And the angle button above that seat bottom button is the lumbar support, button three. The smaller horizontal button is the seat cushion length control, and it moves the front cushion of the seat to support your knees. So we'll call it button four. And the circular knob offers the side bolster support, so that tightens the hold on your body in the seat. We'll call it button five. And these are the actions for each button, but note button one and two are the principal movers. The seat back button, number one, moves the angle of the seat back, forwards or backwards, by pressing the top edge of the button in the direction you want the back of the seat to move. The seat bottom button, that's number two, moves the seat bottom backwards and forwards by sliding the button forwards or backwards. Button two also allows you to raise the seat by tilting the back of the button up or down. So those are the three main adjustments. The others are for comfort control. So button two also allows you to tilt the front seat bottom up or down by tilting the front of the button up or down. And the lumbar support button number three offers support for the pit of your back. And it's got a four-way action. So think of it like a joystick to give the most comfort for your back. Button four, the small horizontal button, slides the front of the seat cushion forwards or backwards to help support the knees. And the circular knob at number five twists clockwise to tighten or anti-clockwise to loosen the side walls of the seat to give you the best bolster support. Additionally, the seat back can be manually pulled forward by releasing the chrome latch at the top outer of the front seats. Now for understanding the operation of the memory buttons, both the driver's and the passenger set of buttons act in the same way, except the driver can also memorise the steering wheel position and the position of the outside mirrors. To memorise the settings, push the M button. The red indicator will illuminate for five seconds. While the indicator is illuminated, press any one of the memory preset buttons. Only the driver's side will chime as a completion indication. And if you've got the ignition turned on, the message center will indicate the settings have been changed. Using the memory on the passenger side has no chime or no indication. And that covers all that I wanted to talk about in this video, except a simple warning to avoid wedging any luggage between the front seat or the rear seat cushion, which will hinder the front seat's movement. There's also a number of other operations related to the seats, such as adjusting the headrests, and the operations associated with the touch screen that'll be included in the next video. So I hope you've learned a little bit more about the XKR. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell to be notified of that next video. Thanks for watching.